Today we are just going to get ready because um, I have to film another video for my Facebook group. I lied. I have to film another video for uh, a Facebook event that I'm doing because I want to, it's just like a little promo video. And so I figured why not and let's get back into the tutorial game and talk a little bit and all that fun stuff. So that's what we're going to do. I'm getting ready to put the Fenty Beauty primer on my face and I will be taking my glasses on and off and disclaimer I'm blind so I'm gonna have to have my mirror here I will try not to cover my face I'll try not to cover my face um, okay anyway so where have I been um, working <laughs> Just, you know, short, sweet, simple. I have been working, making my dreams come true, which is living the life that we all want to live, right? Um, I don't remember if, have I done it? I think I have, I'm not sure, but I don't know. I don't remember if I've done a video since I've moved into my studio and I will have been in my studio for one year on December 1st and today is November 4th. Um, I literally took a leap of faith and got the studio, but it has worked out every month and I know it's nothing but Jesus <laughs> and my hard work. It has been quite the journey, but it has definitely been one that I appreciate. Um, there's definitely something about having your own space um, that isn't your house. <laughs> uh, I am married and I do have a son and a dog who acts like a human. Um, and there's just something about having your own space where you can really do what you need to do and it's not in the house. Uh, I, don't, I don't focus as well in my house and some people can and that's great. I am not one of those people. I definitely have to have a space where I can go um, just mentally that helps me be like okay I'm in this space this is what I need to be you know focusing on because a lot of people in this city are entrepreneurs but they are actually entrepreneurs with like other responsibilities and other jobs <laughs> like me um, I'm still working my well it's not quite full-time anymore I went down to four days a week because um, I'm slowly making that transition but um, so you know it, you can't always meet during the day or what have you um and so we would have to meet at night or in the evening and you know sometimes um take my earrings out uh and especially you know like at random time so i'll get it like this is what is this sheer envy Oh, Hard Candy Sheer Envy Conceal and Corrector Palette in Medium Tan. I've had this thing forever. I'm not even sure if they still sell it. There have been a lot of changes in my uh, company also. I had interns for a while. I had an assistant for a while. I don't have any one of those right now. Um, I do have a young lady who is like a video and photo assistant when I do bigger jobs. But as far as like an assistant assistant, um, I don't have that anymore. I don't have interns anymore. I just, you know, change is not bad. It's definitely not bad. And in case anybody watches that used to know somebody that did something for me, it's not against them. It's just change is not always bad. And so what I wanted to do with the interns that I had and the assistant I had was a vision that I had for my company at the beginning of this year. But things have definitely changed. Um... And again, it's not a bad thing, it, you know, at all. It's sometimes things change. I thought I turned, didn't I turn that down? Hold on. I am working on a new documentary and I don't, well, do I want to, I don't know. Um, I was going to say, do I want to talk about it? But it is about getting the people's stories on tape on film who 
don't always have the opportunity to tell their stories as often as everybody else. So my first two that I'm interviewing are actually my husband's grandma and then my grandma. Um, Two women who definitely, like my husband's grandma um, was involved with the Black Panthers. And then my grandma was um, a nurse in a time where there was segregation and um, all that stuff. And not saying there isn't now, but the segregation we learn in schools. And, um, you know, she went through that program and became a nurse and was just, you know, so I just like, those are the stories that we learn about these things in school, um, especially people, I mean, I, it's for everybody, but it's really, I really, really want it for people in minority groups because we learn these stories in school and, you know, the history books. But the fact is that a lot of us don't realize, or at least back then, if we may realize when we're adults, but when we're younger and going through this, we may not realize that this is one, it wasn't that long ago. And, you know, and then two, because it wasn't that long ago, people like our grandparents, we can actually ask these questions or, um, you know, get those little nuggets of wisdom from because they literally lived through it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause it's just, it's taught in a way where one, the whole truth isn't taught. Let's just be honest. And then two, it's taught as if this was so long ago, and it really wasn't. Um, and then I eventually want to take this all around the U.S. and, you know, get those stories of, like, our grandparents and our ancestors, not just of Black people, of African Americans, but Native Americans, Latinos, Latinas. Um, I really want to talk to marginalized groups in whatever form that takes. Um, uh, this came from also the fact that um, my my grandpa on my dad's side, he used to tell you know my siblings and and myself and my cousins you know stories and he has passed away. Um, at this point, he passed away. I can do math. Seven years ago. Um, but you know it just sucks because I wish I had those stories on a video somewhere that's what it's going to be i'm working on a title my husband gave me a title i don't want to say it yet i do like it um for it you know there are people every day that are near us that have these stories and i just want to get them on tape we're just gonna send all this i'm using air spun it's, i love this this stuff and so it's gonna be like a documentary series so it's not gonna be like one whole movie because i want to be able to let um the people I'm interviewing just talk, you know what I mean? And then I'll edit it down. Um, you know, so kind of, so it'll, it'll probably be on YouTube and I'll edit it down in, um, more manageable bits. That put a lot of powder on my face. The last time I did a, the film series from where this t-shirt was from, um, I showed six movies that I had made. And um, so, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there'll be like 10, 11 movies. And like my, my thing is short films. So I don't do long form ones. I can, I just don't prefer to. I love doing short films. So the longest one is like 10 minutes. <laughs> so they're very easily digestible. So, you know, when I say, oh, there'll be 12 films, I don't want you to like, there's like 12 one hour films because there's not. This is, so I usually use one one of two things for my brows. This is the brow pencil from ColourPop, and this is black and brown. Or I use their um, brow color in the gel pot, and also black and brown. I can't, I literally cannot see without my glasses. But I am just using, um, this is, it's my Ray Ray's palette from BH Cosmetics. Uh, I love this thing absolutely absolutely love it uh the kind as you can see this is almost gone yeah it's good enough sometimes i do my bottom lashes sometimes i won't i'm not today i don't feel like it <laughs> um and uh i just did one coat sometimes i do two coats of mascara but i really do like that lash blast volume mascara this one that i picked up today this is from trust fun beauty um, this is their lip gasm liquid lipstick in the 
color. I don't know. So that is it for today. Very basic face. Um, this is kind of like my everyday running out the house. Of course, it took me a lot longer today because I was talking, but this is like my everyday face and perfect makeup for glasses where I look put together. Um, but it, you know, it's not too, too much. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm looking forward to coming back and doing more videos. Um, what I will do is I will try to record myself doing my makeup for the videos that I do. And then that would just be extra content. Um, but we're going to do a lot of reviews, more tutorials, um, you know, a lot of videography and photography stuff. So I'm excited. So hit that subscribe button. If you have not, I would love to see you come back, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.